Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is 25th of July which means that this YouTube channel turns 2 today. I honestly cannot believe that it has been 2 years already. I've been on YouTube since 2 years now and it has been a great journey. I'm so 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 grateful for each and every one of you who watch my videos, who support my channel and also who leave those sweet comments in the comment section below. I'm so so grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you so much for supporting me throughout this journey and hopefully this channel is gonna get bigger and bigger in the coming years. So coming on to today's video, as you guys read the title, today I'm gonna be reviewing the Masaba by Naika collection. So if you guys don't know, Masaba is a very well-known Indian fashion designer and she's one of my favorite fashion designers. So she recently came out with her beauty line, her makeup line with Naika. So they came out with 12 lipsticks and 12 nail polishes and it's the lips and tips collection. I was lucky enough to get the chance to meet Masaba personally at the Naika office and I was invited there for the launch. So I went the day before yesterday and I got the chance to ask Masaba two or three questions about her collection. If you guys haven't watched that video, it's up on my Instagram. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Please go ahead and follow me there and watch that video. It's really great. And also I got this little PR kit where I have three lipsticks and three nail polishes from that collection. So I'm going to be reviewing these today. So it is a lips and tips collection. So as the name suggests, they have lipsticks and nail polishes. And the best part is that the nail polishes and the lipsticks are color coordinated, which I absolutely love. I think Kathleen Lights has done something um, before with Colourpop. Uh, it's very similar. I think she did the same thing. I love this concept. And let's have a look at the box. So first of all, I love how the box looks like. This is her uh, her actual palm print. I love the prints and this is how the box looks like from inside. There's a catalog of all the lip shades. So this is how it looks like. First of all, the packaging is so, so cute. The, the main thing that I love about this collection is the packaging. It's so personalized, it's so quirky and so amazing. So these are the three lipsticks and these are the three uh, color coordinated nail polishes. So I have the shades Femme Fatal, Touch Me Not and Can't Deal. These are the three shades that I have. They all are bold lipsticks. Uh, I love the nude lipsticks in the collection also. I'm definitely going to purchase that sometime later. And also I'm going to be swatching the lipsticks and the nail polishes. So stay tuned for that. Uh, first I will be reviewing the products. So the packaging on each and every lipstick is actually Masaba's iconic prints uh, in our outfits. So that's something I love. Uh, I think my favorite one is definitely this cactus print. Out of all the 12 ones, I think this is my favorite one. Love the hot pink and also the name is so cool. All the names in the collections are really, really cool. This is in the shade Touch Me Not. And this is how the lipstick looks like. Of course, it has the same print and it says Masaba by Naika. Uh, it is gold from inside and this is how the bullet looks like. This is a hot pink color. This is actually the lip shade that I'm wearing right now. All of these three shades are not something that I would wear on a regular basis. But of course, it's really good to have some bold lipsticks in your collection. So of course, I have played with the formula a little bit. Uh, I wore this lipstick yesterday for a couple of hours just to test it out um, and also how it lasts through meals. So I wore it for a couple of hours and it did last really well. But uh, these lipsticks claim to be creamy matte. So they have a creamy matte finish. It's not completely matte. It, it's definitely not transfer proof. It does transfer a little bit. Like as you can see it does transfer uh, quite a lot. It is like a regular bullet lipstick. This is the kind of formula that I really like. It is something that you can drop on an everyday basis. So one thing that I don't like about these lipsticks are that they're not very very full coverage. Like you have to go in with another coat to achieve that full coverage. And also my pigmentation is peeking through a little bit. I do have a little pigmented lips. Like my top lip is a little pigmented and also over here on the sides of my bottom lip. So that is kind of peeking through. I don't know this if this camera is picking it up but I can see that in person it's not something really crazy but um, I do I can build this lipstick up if I go in with another coat 
but also one more thing that you do have to reapply this lipstick um, a couple of times throughout the day it's not something that you just um, wear and just leave the house and you don't have to worry about it of course it fades away really evenly it's not something that will make your lips really dry and patchy it, it is a really nice formula I like something which is very comfortable on my lips and I think that this formula is a really really great formula for everyday use for college girls or just for like office wear. Also, I forgot to mention the prices of these products. The lipsticks retail for 599 rupees and the nail polishes retail for 199 rupees. So I forgot to talk about the nail polishes. Uh, the What's different in the packaging is that the lid has these cow prints, which is again an iconic print by Masaba. So I love these little personal touches of Masaba. I think it makes the product really special and it looks so great in your vanity. It looks really, really different. Also coming on to the formula of the nail polishes, as you guys can see, I'm wearing this pink nail polish, which is called as Touch Me Not. So I'm wearing this set of lipstick and the nail polish. So this is like a true hot pink. It's not something that I wear on an everyday basis. You guys know that I always wear neutral colors, but this is something I don't really mind wearing. I think it looks really young and fresh this is a really nice color it's not it's not like a typical pink color like for example i have another nika nail polish in the shade i clearly don't remember the tag is completely gone but it's uh, the shade number is 24 and this is how it looks like so comparatively you guys can see how different these two colors are this is something i will definitely never wear like this is definitely not my color but I think this is a kind of pink that I definitely love wearing. This is a really great hot pink color. And also formula wise, uh, they do feel a little better than these other Nika nail polishes. Even though they've said that the uh, formula is exactly the same. Uh, the price point is just a little bit higher. These are for $1.99 and the, all the other Nika nail polishes are for $1.79. Uh, but I do feel like this formula is a little bit special because when I applied this day before yesterday I guess. And it, did, it didn't even need a second coat. I was so shook. It was so, so full coverage. And that's not the case with all the other Nika nail polishes. I think this formula is a little bit better. And also, it did chip a little bit today. But I went ahead and just reapplied it on this finger. But I think that's the case with all the other nail polishes. I own a hundred different nail polishes. And they do chip after like two to three days a little bit. I always go ahead and reapply it. So I'm done with reviewing these products. Now let's go ahead and look at the swatches. today's video i hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful in some way please don't forget to mention your video suggestions in the comment section below also don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video bye